Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Today I'm going to show you how to create these gorgeous fall inspired water marbled nails. I'm going to show you some of my hints and tips which I've discovered along the way for making it even easier to water marble than ever before. Begin by filing and performing cuticle work. There's a link in the top right corner of a video that shows you how to do this. And then cleanse your nails with 99% isopropyl alcohol or nail polish remover. Now we need to apply our base coat and I'm using Unt's Ready for Takeoff Peel Off Base Coat and I'm going to do one hand at a time and begin by applying this to the first five nails. Once applied carefully, allow to dry. Next I'm going to use Colour Club's French Tip as a white to apply to my middle and ring fingers where I'm going to be water marbling. Now this is a very opaque colour so it does take a little bit of playing around with to get a good coverage but you should be able to get a nice opaque coverage in one layer. Clean up any mistakes with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone and just wipe away. Next I'm going to take one layer of SEDJ on board and apply to the little finger. On the index or first finger, I'm going to apply Essie Big Spender. And on the thumb, I'm going to use Essie's Taj Mahal. And the reason I'm using all Essie colours today is because I tried out a few different colours for the water marbling, but the Essie seemed to work really well together and spread equally. Now I'm going to use a liquid latex barrier around the two fingers in the middle, so that's your middle finger and your ring finger that you've painted white. And this is just to make clean up easier after water marbling. And recently, instead of using my traditional ramkin, I've swapped to a shot glass as I found it's much easier to create designs without them ripping, but I'm still going to be using my fine point dotting tool. I tried out in advance to see which of the three colours spread the best on the water and it was the pink so I've started with that one to make the design anchored to the sides of the shot glass. You can decide whichever order you want to go in with your colours but I chose purple, pink and then I don't even know how to describe this colour, it's sort of a beigey peach. It's perfect for the autumn though. With your polish bottles around your glass and the lids already unscrewed, just try as quickly as possible to apply one drop at a time to the centre of the water. Always apply the next colour into the centre of the previous drop to keep the design nice and equal. If you find a colour won't spread particularly well, just try tapping your hand on the side of the bowl very gently and that can help it spread sometimes. And as a hint, if you're having problems with your water marbling, it tends to be the nail polish that's the problem, not the water or the container unfortunately. And once you've finished applying all your colours, take your cocktail stick or needle point dotting tool, starting at the centre, pull out each side in a vertical line to anchor it to the bowl. And then we're going to start across the centre of the circle area and pull in on each side equally. This is to try and keep the design really symmetrical to be able to apply two fingers at a time to the water. And each time I'm starting from a couple of layers of colour in so the design doesn't tear and then dipping my dotting tool down in the centre at the end and that's to anchor the colours together and stop you tearing the design as you pull out your dotting tool. I want to create a sort of flower design so each time I'm working right towards the centre of the design and pulling in the colours. And continue doing this until you're completely happy with the design. And it's very important to clean off your dotting tool after each time you've dipped it in the design. And line your two fingers up above the design to make sure you've got it in the right place to go on the nails. And then slowly lower it into the polish making sure you go tip first to avoid some of the bubbles. And then holding the design under the water taking a cotton tip or q-tip just wipe the excess polish off the surface of the water. This means you won't ruin the design as you take your fingers out of the water. Then using your fine dotting tool, just run it around the cuticle area of the nail just to break the design away from what's stuck to the skin. And then using your q-tip or cotton bud, just dab any of the areas of water or bubbles on top of the design. And with a pair of tweezers, just remove your liquid latex barrier for a nice clean finish. Clean. 
clean up any remaining polish using a brush dipped in acetone or nail polish remover. And if you have any areas of white showing through, just take one of your colours and a fine detail brush and touch up the area to cover up the white. Now it's time to apply our second layer of colour to our remaining nails. And once all the polish is dry, it's time to apply your top coat. If you're applying the top coat over a design with a lot of colours or water marble design, I find it's very important to apply a lot of top coat on to stop you from smearing that design and keep the beautiful crispness. If by doing that you flood any of the top coat onto the skin, don't worry, just clean it up with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone. Once all the top coat is dry, it's time to apply your cuticle oil and I'm using Simply Pure. Just apply it on the skin around the nails and then gently massage in. And here is your finished fall or autumn inspired water marble nail art. I hope you found the water marbling tips useful. Please let me know how you get on down below in the comments and please let me know anything else that you would like to see. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every Saturday of nail art tutorials and my personal vlogs every Wednesday.